What's up gamers? We are back with a new video. It's about to be a long night of gaming. You get see me, I am super comfortable right now. I got my do-rag on. I'm super chill right now, man. It's been a long, long week. Had a little bit of time to recuperate yesterday and tonight. This is actually the first time I've actually didn't have a super long game session. We're gonna be trying to record a lot of video games tonight. Anyway, let's get into it. We're about to knock out this story for um Oh, Zilla Zone Zero, because I haven't played any of the Caesar story things, but I have unlocked this character, as you can see. But we got to do this dang old story. I can just teleport to it. I hear it's pretty good, though. I've been trying to really, like, level up the... Trying to make my two teens, man. Awaiting further and nothing. Ready for me. Ready and huh? Is something the matter? <laughs> they getting close to being Good day, done. Proxy. They getting close. Not gonna hold y'all. Oh, let me go ahead and take her up. To Sixty. That's crazy. How much it takes to take a lit a character? Fuck six. Jeez. Ugh. Uh, uh, to what do I owe the pleasure? One, two, three. Okay, so that's... I still need to get seated. Yeah, stand only the brave woman. Yeah, I still need to get her. <laughs> that's seated. me. Still have a long way to go. But let's let's continue the story. Yes. I'm gonna have me a drink and drink later. I try to do like some of the story stuff. On My the old friends, the two Faithins. It's been a while. How have you both been lately? <clears throat> Not too bad, thanks to you. Of course, if you could get us the business we need. Oh dear. Well, when you say it like that, I'm not quite sure how to put the next part. Yeah, I don't want the uh, the sound to be uh, too echoey. Looks like you don't have any good news. Please hear me out. It's completely out of my hands. <clears throat> the city has recently beefed up security measures for the election. Not just on the main roads. They've also got people stationed on the hollow exits leading to the outer ring. Although there have always been quite a few outer ring smugglers using the hollows for transport, risks have skyrocketed. Even if you find someone willing to risk it, those small fry definitely won't have. So you passed up on my valuable commission. Shepard, you know us all too well. Well, we've been partners for a while now. Though I don't have any business for you, I didn't come here for nothing. Here's my two Denny's. If you're looking for information, try to get in with the outer biker gangs. The people of the outer ring live far apart, and the transportation of supplies relies heavily on the biker gangs. They're well respected among the residents, and nothing happens there without them knowing. It's unfortunate that this option is beyond the scope of my business. So this is all. <clears throat> Thank you. We'll think. We got a useful piece of intel. We don't have any other choice. The outer ring is comp Speaking of which, finding intel on Perlman has been harder and harder in the city lately. Bell, this whole thing is... What's so strange about it? Here's what I'm thinking. The outer ring might be vast and sparsely populated, but for someone to survive there, Perlman's escape cost quite a stir. And public... How does a living, breathing person disappear? Don't know. I said I give up! <laughs> now that's more like it, old man. If you'd spoken up sooner, we could have saved ourselves the all right. Any hey, other challengers? Girl. Anyone else? Big Daddy, we got the Sparkstone. Now you can't say it's not the right time for us to join the Torrid Inferno. We the sons of... <sighs> it's strike while the iron's hot, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> The Overlord's throne, huh? Caesar, well, my opinion hasn't changed since you've earned the right. Go test. Huh? Aren't you coming with us? 
I'm retired. This kind of action-packed stuff should be left to the young'uns. Besides, someone's got to look after the transport pit. Caesar! Big Daddy! We found something amazing over there! Oh, it's an airship! This is the first time I... Hey, Caesar, there's a live one over... Such a serious accident. This guy's lucky to be alive. I feel like I've seen this hey, face before. Hey, all my girls is. Oh, we ain't got Bernice. This makes me, if I get Bernice, wait, no, it, I forgot who are the other, uh, in the, the Bikers of Caledon. Who else is in there? That dude with the two swords, I think. It's not just any guy. This is the defendant in that vision case from the city. He's on the public security's most wanted list. So much money. Enough to drink nitro fuel like water for the next 30 years. Enough to buy five steel tusks. <sighs> Public security sure is generous. Public? No! Don't hand me over to public security. I'm big. I have evidence of the Actually, I'm starting to doubt if Perlman, we can still rely on hand for the sacrifice investigation. But I'm afraid that. Master, second assistant. There is an incoming call. Right on cue. Oh, manager, you're home. I just <clears throat> sent you a message. We're both here. <clears throat> What's up, Billy? Manager, I have something really important to tell you, but I'm at the corner behind Bardic Needle. Billy, you're close by. What? Uh, because the vehicle I'm driving. Uh, wait. A public security officer is coming over. Hey, so I'm hanging up. I'll be. Billy said his car wouldn't fit through? I don't get it. It seems he has something important to say. I think I do all the dailies and shit today. Oh, manager! Billy? Have you left the cunning hairs? What's with the leaps and bounds truck in this big? No way. I'm pretty happy with my life now. And besides, this truck and the Bangboo both belong to the Sons of Caledon, one of the outer ring, but the truck has a new Eridu entry pass, and recently non residents have had to queue for. I didn't know you spent time in the outer ring. Yeah. Actually, I lived in the outer ring for a while. It was a stroke of luck that a manager, we can chat about this later. I have some of the sons of Caledon have intel on. Is it credible? It's solid. They're second in command, manager. The sons of Caledon know we're looking for Pearlman. They said they can provide exclusive intel on one condition. They want it. You mean they're looking for a proxy? They didn't put it like that, but manager, though we really need Pearlman for the case we're handling. Nicole said we owe you. So you have the f anyway. I'll be helping the Sons of Caledon upgrade their Bang Boo and purchase supplies in the city if you want to meet them face to face. Right. Belle, you're back. What did Billy want to talk about? The Sons of Caledon. One of the Outer Ring biker gangs has Bell. What's your take on... I think we finally have a lead on Pearlman. Right. But the Outer Ring is a wild place, and we don't know what the... Billy will be there too. Plus, he's still doing favors for his old boss, so they might... All right. I get it. The good thing is that the Outer Ring isn't under New Eridu's jurisdiction. <clears throat> the proxies can operate there under... Bell, you should spend the next couple of days preparing for the trip and taking care of any... Yeah. Be ready. Chapter four, Tour de Inferno. This is gonna be fun. Whoa, it stretches. What do you think, manager? The outer ring scenery is pretty nice, right? But this road is too close to a hollow, and there are so many other hollows around. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. 
The outer ring lacks ether technology, making it hard. Hey, you see that big guy over there? That machinery, is it an oil pump? Oh, you're good. This area is called the old oil field. The residents here still rely on patrol. Eh? Wait, wait, wait! What's up with that truck? Billy, turn right! Drive into the hollow! <sighs> oh my, oh my. Interesting. They actually drove into the hollow. And here I thought I'd get to see some explosive carnage. Lord Lucius, I did what you asked. Although the sons of Cal... I hope that in the future you'll remember this lesson and stop meddling in things that you shouldn't. The second in command of the Vanquishers colluding with an ether corporation and the... That's not a joke you should make lightly. Oh, another biker guy? Interesting. Manager! Manager! I'm fine, Billy. <sighs> That's good. That oil tanker heading straight for us was terrifying. But we've fallen into a hollow now. Let's see what we have on hand that we... Oh, right. Now, there's anti-corruption serum in the truck that the Sons of Galadon asked me. Also, I've got a few discarded data... Billy, that's our way out of... There must be a carrot in the Sons of Caledon's bamboo. Plus... Oh, that's right! You're a proxy! You can... All right! Let's get... Oh, my God. I'm using Billy. Let's go, manager. I've got the data files. Okay, in three should be enough. We've got a cereal. Must have been drawn in by the data pilot. Don't worry, manager. I'll handle it. Oh, dang, that little... <laughs> that little baby will go in. Billy boy. All right, just one data pile left. Oh, Billy, yeah, Let's they don't like to play with Billy for long. <laughs> I know people don't want to play with Billy. Don't worry, manager. I'll take care of these guys in no time. How are you holding up? All good. I can manage. Uh-oh, it's a big guy! 
Let's go back to the car and get out of here. You can do it, manager! You're almost there! I'm really not built for this level of activity! I've heard so much about. <laughs> Come on, brother. You've gone a bit rusty. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's Okay. Oh, am I? Okay, I already know about Caesar shit. Yeah. Hey, boys! Let's get to it! Show me what you got, bro. No! Ten rounds, Tina! Oh, you really must be feeling confident today. Nah, it's just that I can't get a reimbursement on anything over ten. They, they weren't gonna let you play with the uh what you call it with the new guy to pieces but don't worry big sis i made out of tough enough stuff to hold out <laughs> <laughs> brother you have nowhere to run but you've still got a mouth on you well his name lighter i want to see his fighting style. Well i really want to see his my body is made out of enhanced i'm curious now. do they have any I, I just want to see if there's any leaks for this character because he looks like he's gonna be sick Oh, somebody had has a leak. Uh, it looks like he's gonna be fired. I'm not gonna show these leaks. Of course. Oh dang, dude. Ah, uh, he's gonna be fucking sick. Oh, that's the lightning girl. Oh, wow, she looks sick too. Oh, both of them look sick. 
Yeah, he's too fucking sick. I might have to get that character, man. <sighs> So you mean you're literally made out of tough stuff? strange call earlier from a young guy. He sounded terrified and said you fell into this hollow. So it was the deputy manager. Lucy thought it might be a trick, but the intel he gave about you was flawless. And he even laid out a rescue route. Oh, so this is the legendary proxy, huh? Who'd have thought? Thanks. You uh -huh. Hey, proxy manager. Manager. I was looking at the lighter gameplay, and then I have to say, I, I might actually spend money for that character. I might actually spend some money for that character. That motherfucker looks like he's clean. Is she dead? <laughs> I have to take some of the blame for this accident as well. We, the sons of Caledon, must honor our guests with the finest funeral. Lighter, you will be carrying the coffin. That's a heavy responsibility. We'll need to keep the hearse driving Damn, steady. Please. Piper. Ooh, got it. I'll make sure it's a smooth send off. Bernice. <laughs> Of course, you'll be handling the cremation. You got it! Just gotta burn everything to add to misery! <sighs> Lucy? L Lucy? <gasps> Can you all stop goofing around? <laughs> don't be upset. It's not every day we get to have fun with the cremation ceremony. You don't have fun at our guest expense! Bernice! Put away the flamethrower! Now! <laughs> you guys are driving me nuts! Belle, how are you feeling? Are you hurt? Sorry, sorry. We got a little carried away. Welcome to the outer ring. May you rise from the ashes. They are. Th this this whole group is cool. Yeah. Nathan, who would have thought you'd both end up here all because of an accident? Must have scared you back then, huh? <laughs> Relax. You two and Billy are thick. Oh wait, hold on, y'all.
Alright. I'm back. I had to get some stuff out of my card I forgot I had in there. Uh, is that supposed to be a compliment? Time for a formal introduction. We really should have already told you why we invited you. The sons mm. of Caledon need a favor from you. As for Pearlman, his airship crashed here in the outer ring during landing. He's lucky to be alive, but he's badly injured and hasn't woken up. What? You mean you have? Yeah. Wait. Didn't Lucy told? Worry. We'll make sure he heals up, and once he's awake, we'll. Uh, wait, Caesar. Are you stupid? Negotiations haven't even started, and you already handed over such an important bargaining chip. Negotiations, Lucy. Again with the pettiness. This kind of manipulation and leveraging. Uh. -uh. That's not very overlordy. <sighs> Easy for you to say. I worked my butt off to keep this info under wraps just for today. We can't strike a deal with Phaethon. Where do you expect me to find a reliable proxy for the Tor de Inferno? The Tor de Inferno is our business. I never planned to count on anyone else. Don't worry, proxy. You coming to the outer ring is a sign of respect. Even if you don't agree to help us, I won't go back on my word about Pearl. Caesar. We appreciate your kindness, but as they say, no work, no reward. Wise is right. Actually, we only came today hoping to get a bit of information on Pearlman. We could never have expected what you're offering since you've been so honest with us. We'll do every... <laughs> Straight to the point! I like it! Thanks, Faithen. Your willingness to help will be huge for us. So, you need a proxy for this Tour d'Inferno you mentioned, right? <laughs> the Tour d'Inferno is the biggest event in the old oil field. Only the strongest squads of bikers can compete. It's a test in the hollows to fuck Caesar. There's no way they'll get it when you put it like that. <sighs> Let me explain. Simply put, the Tour d'Inferno is an off-road motorbike race that crosses only two teams compete. And the rules are simple. The first team to cross the hollow I never knew you held such dangerous races here in the proxy. Holding the Tord Inferno isn't just for the thrill of it. It's also a way to regularly ensure the safety of our oil resources in the form naturally for us biker gangs. The Tord Inferno also serves another purpose. The winner of the race becomes Overlord of the Old Oil Field Motor League. That's right, Faithen. The Overlord is recognized as the top dog of the Motor League. The current Overlord's faction is called the Vanquishers, and their boss held the title for years. Oh, I've been itching to challenge him for a while now. I see. Lofty aspirations. <laughs> oh, Caesar, if all you think about is shallow stuff like that, it won't be long before the sons of Caledon are mine. People are gunning for the Overlord spot for more than just becoming the top dog. We're not some school kids hooked on fighting. The future of the oil industry in the old oil field relies on the support of the Motor League. And, as the leader of the Motor League, the Overlord is in charge of assigning transport routes. That means, for the past six months, the Vanquishers have only given us the worst routes. <sighs> but, when I went to confront them, that smug second-in-command Lucius just said, the Overlord isn't in the old oil field right now, and the routes are decided. Hmm. Speaking of the Overlord, he hasn't been seen for half a year. But Lucy... What are you afraid of? Even if the roots aren't great, with our skills, it's nothing we can't handle. Besides, 
You're just mad because there's nowhere to buy makeup and snacks on these routes. <laughs> Shut up, Caesar! Didn't we agree you wouldn't criticize me in front of guests? Huh. You call that criticism? It's the truth! And you're the one who's always calling me an idiot! You think I don't have any self-respect? <laughs> you ruin one's plans each time you open your mouth and expect me... Yeah, yeah. Lady Lucy Montefio, I ruined your plans. Huh. Are you forgetting who's the one who was so excited about meeting the leg... Uh, enough, Caesar! I challenge you to a duel! Today's the day for the sons of... <laughs> Bring it on! Then we'll see who's scared. Um... <laughs> well, it's fine, Proxy. Don't worry. This is a two or three times a day kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, it's no big deal. I'm a piper. Just don't get roped into being the referee, or you might end up on the wrong side of both of them. Anyway, proxies, it's great to have your help with the tour day inferno. This is the outer ring. I try to look for all these before I get like started. <laughs> it doesn't look like this place is too big, to be honest. Morning. Did you sleep well? Mm -hmm. You were exhausted yesterday, right? Billy, are you getting ready to go? <laughs> Actually, it's the opposite. The other manager and Caesar decided that they're going to move some of the equipment into your car and set up a mobile proxy workshop. You mean moving the eight? Right. The other manager said working in the city would make communication difficult. Plus, smart devices are few and far between in the outer... Oh, morning, proxy. Billy's right. You'll be more efficient working from here in the outer ring. Don't worry. We'll take care of the power and network connection. Even in the outer ring, you'll be, uh... Walking on thin ice! <laughs> <laughs> I like Caesar. Hearing you say that makes me a little nervous about our new working environment. <laughs> By the way, before the equipment arrives, let me take you to Blazewood and introduce you to the town. Lucy said you might not be used to roughing it with us, so I got the mayor to prepare a place for you. Oh, he shouldn't have. Uh, it's no problem. After we get back from town, go talk to Lucy and the others. I heard from your brother that you need to collect some hollow data before the race. Lucy and the gang are also preparing for the Tour d'Inferno. You Hopefully this goes quick.
Caesar. So this is the proxy from the city? Guess folks from New Eridu start working young. Caesar, who's this young lady? <laughs> you city folks talk. I'm Casa, the mayor of Blazewood. The sons of Caledon have taken good care of our town. You can stay in the house behind me tonight. Sorry, it's still got some stuff that hasn't been moved out. But I'll hey, Casa, I notice a lot of people in town making these woven. I we don't have a choice. The pipeline to town still isn't fixed. Without a gas station, all we can do is make handicrafts to earn a living. Luckily, we got a big order recently. And with a tour de inferno coming up? What's a sunflint? Oh, it's a kind of handicraft woven from straw. During the tour de inferno, I'll The pattern looks like a fit. <laughs> the elders say this, but there's an such a unique pattern must have a story behind it, right? Is there an auto pop yep. option? Though the old oil field can still produce oil, yeah, yeah. did you know the core oil field was swallowed up by a hollow decades ago? <laughs> Wait, isn't oil susceptible to ether corruption? Mm hmm. After the disaster, etheric matter seeped through the underground facilities and oil pumps, ruining the shallow oil reserves. But luckily, the collapse of the only deep drilling facility formed a unique natural gas vent. The burning gas kept the etheric matter from spreading further down. So the natural gas vent is Cinder Glow Lake? The appearance of Cinder Lake saved everyone's livelihoods in the old oil field. But even with Cinder Lake, we can't rest easy. Natural gas and etheric matter burning together can easily turn into ether crystals building up around the lake. If left unchecked, more and more crystals will build up and eventually block the vent, extinguishing the lake. If that happens, the underground oil will be doomed. There was a time when Cinder Lake nearly went out. In order to save it, a young man and his friends risked their lives to enter the hollow and blast open an ether crystal using a special spark stone. Just like the one in my hand. But the hollow was treacherous, and they didn't even have a carrot with them. By the time they reached Cinder Lake, it was out of desperation. The young man rode his bike into the only... So, everyone makes sunflints in memory of his sacrifice. <laughs> oh, proxy. It's normal for the proxy to think that way. After all, everyone who went to Cinder Lake with him thought he was dead. But a day later, he miraculously invoked say the god of the sun and fire was moved by his bravery. A lot since then, the residents have drawn his face in the image of him diving into Cinder Lake on their sunflints. That's a great story. No wonder it's widely told. Uh-huh. Kids in the old oil field grew up hearing that story. They used to play games pretending to be the first overlord in the Tor Inferno. Of course, the first overlord did more than that. After he returned, he gathered all the biker gangs in the old oil field and He also made the rule that the Tor Inferno would be held every few years to prevent a similar- Yeah, that's why the Tor Inferno continues to this day. It's still a feat only the strongest bikers can accomplish. But for us residents, it's become more of a festival. You made it. 
proxy. Didn't Caesar say you were just going to meet the mayor? We saw the sunflints in Blazewood and ended up hearing the legend of... <laughs> ah, so that's why Caesar was so pumped up. After she even said her dream is to become a hero. J <laughs> if she really wants to be like the first overlord, she better forget those childish fairy tales. But the first overlord was a real person. Exactly. And it's because he actually existed that we should look at him objectively. I mean, the Torrid Inferno only happened a few decades ago. How come it's turned into this huge... But using an act of God to spread his story far and wide? A first... Lucy, Caesar said this kind of old person talk will give you wrinkles. Nonsense! <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to her lies! I use exfoliating face masks every day. No way I'll get wrinkles. <clears throat> <clears throat> Proxy. You can see it too, right? The Torrid Inferno is less about heroics and more about the first overlord. That's a very realistic take. It sounds like something a new era do. Wow, Proxy, you're so smart. Lucy is actually from New Era. So you're from the city? What made you get? <sighs> it's because I never wanted that kind of life where everything is already laid out for you. Plus, my dad only cares about- Exactly! It's different in the Outer Ring! Especially in the old oil field. The Motor League is all about freedom and just- <laughs> That's what they say. But to survive, you can't forget- Take the Sons of Caledon, for example. Employees need paychecks, vehicles need maintenance, and we need supplies that the city won't sell us. Which means- Proxy, I wasn't just making it up when I said the Overlord's faction is targeting us. The Sons of Caledon have had better rep than the Vanquishers these past few years. But the recent bad roots we've been getting have hurt our income. And recruiting new members has been an- So, for the future survival of the Sons of Caledon... You've got it all figured out. <laughs> I knew someone as sharp as Faithen would get it. <laughs> strength and passion I like Lucy already, though. <laughs> Just I was waiting for that laugh, because she looked like a character in the Lucy, you wouldn't admit it earlier, but it turns out you lost last night. N no, I didn't lose. It was just after all. Prepping for the Turret Inferno is what's most important now. I can proxy. Let's talk business. So for now, we'll be going into the hollows <laughs> with you to gather. Oh, I also need your help with something. The vehicles for the Tour de Inferno need some modifications. Bell, I'm back. Good job, Wise. Come on. No need. I just tested the voltage and network speed here. Fairy and Eos are pretty excited to be in the outer ring. But it's a new environment. So... Let's warm up for the Tour d'Inferno with the work we've... Alright, Belle. If you're ready. Ready and waiting. Hey, I get to try out my uh, my soldier, my soldier eleven. Let's move! Stick to the plan! Uh-oh. Bell, Sons of Calidon, can you hear me? Our mission is to collect hollow data. Bell? Got it. It's just like that- Don't worry, Proxy. Unlike Billy, we- Speaking of which, I've been curious for a while now. Light are always- Oh, that's because every biker gang in the old oil field has champions. The first Overlord established that any gang joining the League must act with honor. Normally, the Overlord mediates disputes.
But if he's not around or an agreement can't be reached. <laughs> the boss is right. Champions bear the honor or humiliation of the entire gang. We also serve as the lead. However, considering the boss's strength, she really doesn't need protecting. What did Big Daddy say again? Ah, a ruler doesn't need to be the strongest or the smartest. But in the Sons of Caledon, I just so happen to be the best fighter. <laughs> How can you say that? Lighter doesn't have enough to do, and it's all because you can't control your temper and get into fights yourself. <laughs> Proxy, to be honest, for the longest time, I thought Lighter was here just to do... Well, Lucy sure knows how to get the most out of the money she spent. Huh. I'm glad we get to spend a lot of time with Caesar. I need to practice with her anyway. Master, you have reached the data collection area. Data pile one and Great. Data it's just ahead. This team is going Next to be super instant. fucking legit once I build them up. Hold on, y'all. I'm super hyped for this team because this is actually supposed to be my new team. Has been marked. Lucky it's not too far this time. Cool. Grab that data pile and let's move. Right away, Highness. Yeah, I won't. I won't. Uh, oh, dude. Data 
Pile two initializing. Activation complete. We just need to install one more and it's done. The perfect installation location has been selected for you. It'll be a lot more perfect if it were closer to us. Data pile 3 initializing. Watch out, more ethereals incoming. Warning. Biosignals detected near data pile 2. Let's go, Wise. Detected nearby. Hurry up! There they are! Lighter! Lighter! Do you know those people? Don't think so. But judging by their getup, they're in the biker gang too. Something from the city, aren't you? Yeah, we've heard about the loud mouth strategist of the sons of Calpathon. It's clear you but we're not by it. Huh? The numbers on the data piles are gone. You see, these data piles were just abandoned in the hollow. To think the sons of Caledon would try to snatch our stuff using such a feeble lie. <laughs> At first I Lucy! What are you to grind off numbers engraved on a metal surface in such a short time? Since they've even gone to the lengths of preparing that kind of equipment, they must have planned for this well in it. Ah, since Lucy doesn't want me meddling, I'll leave this to you later. Got it, boss. Looks like it's my time to shine. Listen up. I may not know the reason, 
but it looks like you're looking for a duel. <laughs> yeah, since we're all bikers, this is the only fair way. Later, they say you haven't lost a single duel since becoming a champion of the Sons of King. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> to be straight with you, our champion's from there too, but while you were twiddling your thumbs... Wait... <laughs> but you shake... Uh... Sorry... You smug jerk! It's me, Balam! You ended my 21 streak, you cocky bastard! Just because you're handsome, skilled, happier, and handsome, you think you can just forget my name? Wait, did he just say you're handsome twice? Bellum, huh? That's cool. I'll remember you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me that crap! You've already said that three times! <laughs> Enough talking. Our briefings today, right here, right now. That was that. Lighter, it sounds like you are tougher than Bella. But all that stuff about you losing this one, is that true? <laughs> of course it's true. That means winning is the best thing in that kind of place. For the sons of Caladon. Okay. Lyda, I came here to face you. Now that we fought, I just didn't expect that after all these years. I still. No, you're wrong. You never needed to reclaim any honor in the first place. I didn't mean to forget your name. It's just that everything in the underground fighting scene means nothing to me. What? Hurting an opponent for money, taking a dive for money. <laughs> That life has nothing to do with honor. Only those with no choice step into the ring. You and you've got the skills <clears throat> to leave that place behind and become a biker gang's champion. Why leave your heart in that dark, cramped hellhole? <clears throat> Murder you. Be grateful for the outer ring. It doesn't care about your past or where you come uh, from. I, I have the myth. Got the skills, Lighter's pretty fucking cool, man. <laughs> Lighter's pretty I'm fucking Lighter. cool, dude. No problem, Bob. But Bob, tell him. Lighter, you never intended on remembering. Wait, aside from the name thing, I meant everything I said. That doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> He's pretty fucking cool. I give it to him. <clears throat> oh, we get to use Bernice this time. We already know how Bernice plays, so. Refit's old vehicle parts is just past the hollow entrance. Hold on. Actually, I heard from Bell that the factory in the hollow sells parts. If that's the case, why not just buy them outside the It's simple, really. With so many bikers in the old oil field, the leftover parts that... Exactly. It's like if you want top quality fresh fish. Someone has to set out to sea early in the morning and use an airship to get the ingredients back to the kitchen. It's... Just fish. 
Is all that really necessary? Proxy, it's way easier for us to come into the Hollow to buy stuff compared to the hassle city folks go through just... Oh, uh, sexy Bernie's? <laughs> I don't know how to use Bernie's. Ethereals, watch out, everyone. Don't worry. I'll take care of them. That's right. We can try out our new fuel. Youngsters came by this morning and bought up. Huh? Why not? I warned them that buying up everything would make things difficult, but the Thyron girl leading them seemed awful fiery. And oh, she oh. said she's from the Sons of Caledon. And that no, that's that chick that was on the Witcher. Wait, Caledon. do we have any Thyrons? Grassy, Woody, and Bricky aren't girls, right? Oh, Bernice, the heart of the matter is that <clears throat> someone and wait. Ah. Uh. We're the real sons of Caledon. We have no idea. Oh, damn. Not only did they keep us from getting parts, they also tarnished our... Well, actually, though, just uh, don't mention it was me. Where did those people go, old man? Oh, after they bought everything here, they headed straight to the abad. We have to stop them. Hm. I need to go to the vehicle graveyard to get my bike back. Can we make it in time? It's okay. Wise asked Piper to bring the vehicles here. <clears throat> this way. There's a spatial fissure nearby. We'll be able to rendezvous with soon. Oh, Roxy! I knew we could count on you! The rendezvous point is near the highway. We're almost there. Master, please be aware. Explosive items detected in the vicinity. Oh, it's Watch me burn them to the ground! Warning. Bernice has activated the Who's that? What terrible taste. Anything loses. Golden Dantle in distress and their internaut username has no right to get in my table. Oh, shut up!
Fear nothing. Biosignals detected in the area ahead. Great, Piper's already here. I can finally get my butt. Wow, Piper, I'm just heeding the proxy's call. Little old me wouldn't keep you waiting for a minute long. Thanks, little old you. Guys, let's ride. Slow down, Bernice. I think I might have all the pipers. Ooh-wee. You youngin' sure got some fire in your belly. Proxy, get on. I think I think I got all the pipers, uh, uh what you call it, man? Perfect. We're the first to get here. Thinking, since we have the upper hand, we might as well call it a day. But seeing you like this really brings out my predatory instincts. Aww, so soft. <laughs> so warm. Are you crazy? Kitties love being warm and toasty. <laughs> have... Bernice, are you okay? Yeah, the proxy. Oh, he's a cat tyrant. We get you this afternoon. Bernice, it's rude to throw someone's tail if you don't know them. Oh yeah. First thing you need to do is catch under the bed, right? Oh, don't patronize me. No, you can't do it with your rangy. The enemy's attire, keep it up. Party is getting you. Party is getting you. We haven't had enough fun yet. How come this monster is so strong? Man, we're great. Okay. Okay, that's enough. I give up. What? You give up? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Explain yourself. It means the refitted parts will be returned, and I'll give up the parts from the vehicle graveyard. So let's just pretend none of this ever happened. Huh. Pretend none of this ever happened? What? Feeling hard done by? After I bought the parts, no one else should have come by. This shouldn't affect the Sons of Caledon's reputation. Besides, if my employer finds out I failed, it won't do me any good either. So I'll say the job's done. You benefit from this too. Pretend none of this ever happened? Come on, what's your deal? What more do you want? Oh, but, but we were having so much fun just now. Uh, what? Kitty, you're really good. I've never seen a Thyrin as skilled and cute as you before. Cute? Wait, what are you talking about? I mean it, and it looks like the legends are true. Cat Thyrins aren't loyal to their masters. Huh. Well, I'm just a mercenary working to get paid. And about my employer, hmm. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of him. But... I can't reveal his identity. I don't want to cause trouble for myself, so don't even go there. That's okay. We won't ask. Hey, Bernice! This isn't your decision to make! <laughs> Leave her be, Lucy. Once Bernice has her mind made up, nothing's gonna change it. Kitty, if you don't like your current employer, why not join the Sons of Calidon? Huh? <laughs> Aren't you afraid I'll betray you? 
No one's safe from the sharp claws of a cat, Byron. Don't worry, I've heard that kitties choose to partner up with only the strongest. The sons of Calidon can definitely live up to that. We'll see. Once you've actually proven you're the strongest, at least. And stop calling me Kitty. I do <laughs> have a name. It's Polkra. Okay, Polkra. She's probably gonna be a character. Let's play again later. next time. With a playmate who doesn't know their own strength, I think I'll pass. But I am partial to warm places. She may be a character later on. Yeah, that was hella fun. That was hella fun. I want, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I want every character in the Sons of Caledon. Ready and waiting. Nothing standing. Only I have a little piper. Oh. So sleepy. Yeah, I do. I have all her. Damn. I think I have her winging too. Damn, I got. Yeah, I'm about to need a little little piper, man. <laughs> Let's take a break. Oh, she's an anomaly character. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. oh, so sleepy. You're gonna make this wish. How many days left to burn these? Oh, we got 16 days to burn these? We might be able to actually get her. I ain't gonna get her wedging, though. Here so late. I'll cut to the chase. Can you explain more? You must have noticed. I did a background. Sh I feel the same. Also, knowing Lu Proxy, if they didn't know about. Our Do you have any sus? Not yet. I'll look into it. I'm. Don't worry. Faith in what thinks. Oh, Bernice can't keep a secret. You sure are worried, Lucy. What can I do? Everyone else is so naturally optimistic around here. Anyway, I'll contact you once I get a breakthrough. Wait for my word.
Who's the suspect? It's you. Oh no, just taking a s Ah, Proxy. You really know how to keep your mouth shut. That's good to know. I've said it before. If you can't keep a secret and are slow to react, you're not cut out to be a proxy. Was that all... a test of my competency? Yep. You're the real deal, Proxy. Definitely someone the sons of Calidon should work with long- <laughs> Don't let Piper's usual careless facade fool you. She's actually pretty cautious. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just little old unreliable me. Anyway, let's get to- Here's the deal. Ever since we've set up camp here, I've noticed- Every time Blazewood ships out their handicrafts, Casa always leaves town for two or three hours at night. Here. Since Lucy told me there might be a mole, one night, I pretended I couldn't sleep and talked to Casa when she... She said she was out for a stroll because she also couldn't sleep. And then she just went back inside as... But an hour later, she snuck out of... Her behavior does seem... Ugh, this is terrible news. Casa's relationship with the Sons of Caledon goes back longer than I've been around. We set up into Caesar. Casa has always been like a big sister. Someone she can... Caesar is going to be torn up about it. So, we have to investigate this discreetly. If we're right about this, we need to... This is a tough situation. Like speeding downhill, heading for a turn, but your brakes are... But dwelling on the worst case scenario won't help. We have to roll with the punches. Hyper's right. Once a wild boar charges, there's no backing down. Proxy, I heard there's another shipment going out in a few days. We'll follow her at night and see what... She betrayed us? Betrayed or not? Awaiting further instructions. Nothing ready and waiting. Damn. Soldier 11, reporting. All right, we're in the hollow. How are things with Bernice and Caesar? I checked. Caesar's already asleep. That girl's got a routine like- And Bernice is all taken care of. I sparred with her the entire day to wear her out. Looks like tonight, the ethereals in the hollow won't taste my perfect one-hit KO. They got off lucky. Quit whining, Lighter. If you'd hit in the nitro fuel better, we wouldn't be- All right, let's get moving. Only the three of us in the proxy can-
Looks like this isn't the right way. my feet. Agreed. Morse? You were supposed to come alone. What are you talking about? Hand over the goods like you promised. <laughs> if you want the goods, you're gonna have to pay up. Mm. Or... I'll just take it from the sons of Caledon. Wait, what? <laughs> you're mine now. And my prey never escapes. Oh, yeah? Bring it on! Morse Cossack, let's settle this right now! Trim. Yeah, 
Supplies will get corrupted if left in the hollow. Casa. Mm -hmm. Take them with you. Uh. Hmm? Overlord Pompey? Oh, he looks badass. It's been a while, Caesar of the Sons of Caledon. To think that little sprout by Big Daddy's side would dare bring her underlings to challenge me. Overlord Pompey, while the Sons of Caledon still recognize you as the leader of the Motor League, you'd better explain why you're here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That will be addressed soon enough. Caesar, these goods are what the Vanquishers promised to deliver to Blazewood. Don't push your luck. Lucy, wait. I heard you. I checked these boxes. They really are food and medicine, no matter where they came from. These are things that... Had... Casa, if you're in a bad spot... Caesar, I was actually planning to... But then you came in all excited, telling me you qualified for the Tour d'Inferno and asked if you could stay in Blaze. The Sons of Caledon have helped Blazewood so much over the years. At a crucial time like this, we have no way to repay you. So how could- Repay? Selling us out to the Vanquishers is your idea of repaying us? Selling you out? Wait, Lucy, I've never betrayed you. I just made a deal with the Vanquishers. We trade the handicrafts we make for- She's telling the truth, although you have the favor of Blazewood. As the Overlord, I couldn't turn a blind eye to the needs of the residents. So, when Casa suggested moving the trade to the Hollow to avoid any misunderstanding, After all, we can't disrupt the peace among League members. So you're saying the leak about our whereabouts has nothing to do with you? Standing your ground is a good trait, but not knowing when to back down is just disrespectful. I'm here to resolve this matter. Today I found this in the handicraft.
course, this vial... <sighs> also, the supplies delivered to Blazewood of late seem to be less than what was agreed upon. Deep boss. Moors, I'd, if we, as the League overlords, are not just, then who would want to remain part of the League? And who would protect the old oil field? I'm so sorry. I wasn't thinking straight. It's all my fault. I'll take the punishment. You're willing to take your punishment. Do you think you alone can bear the responsibility for the damage that you've caused? Sons of Caledon, Casa. Moors is my subordinate. I failed to manage him properly. I won't shift the blame onto him. As the current overlord, I'll take responsibility. <laughs> nice speech. Now Recently, I negoti- According to the agreement, the old oil fields de- Wait, does that mean our town's oil supply is saved? That's right. With also, several regions have agreed to share the roads, opening up at least five new freight routes for the old oil field. Sons of Caledon. In the next six months, I plan to have you manage three of these routes. I take it you won't refuse. You mean you're just gonna hand them over on a silver platter? I heard you've been drawing bad routes lately. Though it's just a coincidence, it's time to compensate you. And though the new routes are lucrative, they also traverse treacherous areas and require experienced riders. I have a condition, though. You need to help the less fortunate residents in these three regions for free during this period. And any teams using the routes in the future must do the same. How does that sound? Hey, Lucy. How are the terms? Are they really as good as he says? If it's true, it does solve our long-standing issues with Blazewood. Plus, with expanded routes, the other biker gangs would see a significant income boost. Hmm, I see. Hey, oh man! Your terms are certainly interesting. But it looks like you're making assumptions. The title of Overlord and who gets to allocate the roots hasn't been decided yet. If I become Overlord, I'll be fairer than you. <laughs> you can certainly talk the talk. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> All right, I agree. Caesar, here's a letter of commitment I wrote myself. The root allocations will be officially announced soon. See you at the Tour d'Inferno. Turns out, Moore's bugged the handicraft sent to Blazewood for processing and was listening in on our conversations. Yes, and once the goods were processed and shipped out, they could discreetly retrieve the listening device. It's a flawless plan. If that's the case, why did the Overlord reveal this? At that point, we hadn't even... Even if we hadn't found the listening device, once we cleared things up with Casa, we would have eventually started to suspect the handicrafts. That's right. If we found the bugs ourselves, things would have gotten out of hand. Is there a difference? Oh, Bernice. The Overlord stepping up shows him sincerity, at least. If we had confronted him, even if it was all Moores is doing, we wouldn't have accepted his terms, right? Mishandling this could have shaken the foundations of the Motor League, jeopardizing the safety of the old oil field. We've been- You have to understand. If something happens to the old- Especially Blazewood. The residents are mainly the elderly or children, and their ether aptitude is weak. Oh, Proxy, sorry to bother you, but- Proxy, I want to discuss Caesar. Ever since we met with the Overlord, she's been- She's usually- Caesar's worried about something? It's strange, right? 
Spider offered to train for the Turd Infernal with her, and she said she'd think about it. I think it's related to what happened that day. But if I ask her, she won't tell me the truth. <clears throat> uh, just so you know, I don't really care what's wrong with her, but she's still the leader of the Sons of Caledon, and I can't let her affect the others. Proxy, can you come up with something? All right, I'll try to be subtle about it. I'm planning to head back to New Eridu tomorrow to copy some offline data. It might be a good opportunity. That's a good idea. And Caesar hasn't been- All right, I'll handle Caesar. Tomorrow, have her take you to New- <sighs> All right, moving along. This quit is long. It's very good though. I'm gonna have to rewatch some of this because I was talking to my lady just a minute ago. That's why that's another reason I record some of these. Oh, we're going back to the city. This story is actually pretty cool. But I know playing this story has got me more hype for like a lot of these characters because I love the Sons of Kaladin. So this is where the famous Faithin lives and runs a video store. <laughs> that reminds me. Sometimes Lucy comes all the way to New Eridu just to see movies that feature her favorite stars. Does Lucy still come back to the city? We sometimes do business in the city. Thanks to her new Eridu citizenship, she can come and go. It's not me, though. If I hadn't come with you today, it would have been ages since I'd been in the city. How about we explore the city today? I'll be we have some time while the data copies, and there is nothing else. All right.
So, so we're hanging with Caesar today? So this is the boring part of the story. We're gonna skip a lot of this. I feel like this should give me dating points for Caesar. We've seen the movie and had our drinks. Where should we go next? We've got some time to kill. How about we take a stroll nearby? Okay, let's go. Everyone, watch out! St uh oh, that guy has a dangerous look and take care of yourself, Belle. Hello, Belle? Caesar, where are you? But don't worry, don't worry, I'm fine. I already caught the guy. Don't forget I'm even, and besides, you weren't that concerned about me when I was dealing with ethereals before. You sounded so scary just now, and you told me to stay out of the way, so I thought some- Sorry to scare you. That guy was really dangerous for an ordinary person. He could have hurt some- So, are you still nearby? I got totally turned around chasing him through the alleys. Hmm. Hey, Belle. All this dialogue. The data should have finished copying by now. And it's getting... Thanks for showing me around today. So many strange and wonderful things. Haven't you ever thought about it, Caesar? With your skills. Me? Uh, never thought about it. Belle, it really is. I saw the note on your door saying you'd be away for a while, but Shop told me he saw you were back, so I came over... We're doing good. Thanks, Enzo. I happen to be one of those friends. We'll take good... <laughs> With such a friendly host, we neighbors can rest easy. Is that guy your neighbor, Proxy? I always heard people in the city aren't as close to one another. But from what you asked if I ever thought about living in the city. I guess so, if I want to really protect them. Are you talking about... Yeah, Proxy. I've been thinking a lot these past... Growing up with the stories of the Torrid Inferno, I always... But being the Overlord is more than just... Even though Pompey's men caused trouble, I only just found out that when he laid out the term, Casa has been working tirelessly for the town. Compared to them, I... Don't say that, Caesar. You have when you found those goods in the hollow. You didn't get at the time. We have... <laughs> I think I... But hearing you say that makes me feel a lot... I might not be the smartest, but like a wild boar. Besides, 
I've got a great group of friends. Now it's time to focus on Torrid Inferno. Here's the new route distribution. The newly expanded freight routes have been assigned to the Sons of Caledon as per your instructions. Yes, put it there. Boss, you've worked so hard for these new routes. Are you really going to just hand them over? If it weren't for Moore stealing the intelligence, I wouldn't have had to go through all this trouble. By the way, Moore's insists he acted alone. What do you think? Well, boss, you know Moore's was also thinking of our best interests. You're giving me the answer to a question I never asked. But you don't seem too surprised by all this. Wanting to win isn't a bad thing. But since I'm the reigning overlord, we have to act with integrity. The Motor League's stability ensures the safety of the oil wells. If there's info... By the way, I heard that you've had a lot of dealings with companies in the city. Uh, that is absolutely untrue. It's just that we had some issues with the protective gear we arranged for the oil refinery. I had to find a way to handle I hope so. Lucius, you're smart and ambitious, but always eager for immediate results. Yes, boss. <clears throat> these documents never end. I've been feeling exhausted these days. Am I getting... Not at all, boss. You've been talking about the Tour d'Inferno a lot lately. You're clearly raring to go. <laughs> well said. Caesar may have some potential. But she's not... But, boss, please don't overwork yourself for the next... After all, for this grand event, you need to be in peak condition. Of course that's poison. Of course that's poison. Ready and waiting. Ready for combat. Awaiting only the good day. We fight. Ready and waiting. Awaiting for nothing to feed. Ready and waiting.
You're quite confident, little girl. Do your best. All right, folks. Take your position. The Tower Inferno, the Vipers, and the Sun's Caradon are neck and neck as they cut. Can we expect an epic showdown in the hall? Be careful, everyone. We're about to enter the hollow. Cinder Glow Lake, here we go. Oh, this is cool. I was wondering if those gonna actually have was riding a bike. Okay? Dang, that was quite an impact. Is your bang boo all right? I'm fine. How are you holding up? I'm all right, just a few scratches. I'll live. The only problem is, it's just you and me now. Lucy and Lighter are missing. When the boulder fell, the ground gave way and collapsed, forming a massive hole. And when I woke up, we were here. Master. Due to the spatial distortion caused by the severe tremors, you have deviated from the planned route, recalculating your position. Additionally, before the rockfall, a significant release of energy was detected coming from both sides. A significant release of energy? There were old oil facilities on that path. Did the explosion come from there? Huh. What's this? When we fell in here, I... Dust. Now that you mention it, Eos, hmm? Wait, isn't this stuff the ether powder left behind after a pure ether? Well, what did you... But the Outer Ring doesn't have advanced ether technology, and the city wouldn't sell such dangerous tech to the Outer Ring. That can only mean one thing. What? Who did this? 
could But when we were at the starting line, Pompey told me to give him my all and give him a proper challenge. He seemed eager to come. Caesar, although we can't jump to conclusions, with an incident as serious as this, there's no way today's race can... The drone should have gotten it all on camera. Bernice is watching the race. We have to tell her the truth. Understood. Second is... Oh, hey, Proxy, it's you. Everything looks to be going smoothly in the hollow. And we haven't... Huh? Bernice, didn't you see... What? Did... Belle, something's wrong. Ferry says the footage being broadcast has been tampered with. It's not just ours. Even the footage of the footage from both sides has been swapped out. I don't think this is just about stopping us from winning the Tour d'Inferno. You're right. It seems the enemy is deliberate and there's ether explosives appearing where they shouldn't be in the outer ring. Are you saying Cinder Lake might be a... Yes, I think Bell's get... Caesar, you're the leader of the Sons of Caledon and our clock. We can try to get out of the hollow right now and tell everyone about what... You're stating the obvious, Proxy. We can't just sit back and watch. As long as we can... Understood, Caesar. Faith and Wilbur's... Uh, wait. What are you all talking about? It sounds... Don't worry, Bernice. I'll explain... Well, Caesar, you two should get going. You've got to... Let's go, Proxy. You don't have much time. Time signals detected in the area ahead. There's no end to these things. I was Lucy first. Let's hurry. <laughs> Don't worry, we're fine. But the collapse just now was not normal. That's the conclusion we came to, too. Looks like someone is trying... Wait! If you're going to Cinder Lake, you need a bike! Note. I've already detected... <laughs> That's great news! We already know what's going on, though. Oh, dude, trying to... as fun as my ether team. Biosignals detected nearby. Let's go take a look. It's more. That's weird. Boss, that guy just now was holding a pair of binoculars. He seemed to be looking at something at the foot of the map. Moors, what's your status? Have you seen the Sons of Kalina? Reporting in, boss. I've been monitoring their route as instructed. We still haven't seen them. 
Those young'uns know how to handle themselves. Now that they're facing some real trouble, they can't take it. Uh, but? Ha! <laughs> Mors, of course the Overlord is fine. Didn't you see him cut down those ethereals just now? Lucius, enough trying to suck up to me. After all these years with me, you still haven't gotten over those bad habits of yours. Turning tail and running at the first sign of danger. And under as a biker and second in command of the Vanquishers, you aren't fit to leave. Boss, I get what you're saying. I've always been slow to learn. If it wasn't for you, I would never have even seen the shadow of Cinder. Enough. In the past, you would have fled at the mention of the Tour de Inferno. But now you've insisted on coming along. Moors, keep an eye on the Sons of Caledon. Not good. The Vanquished, but by the sounds of it, Pompey knew nothing about the... Is it just me, or does something feel off about that Moors guy? The explosion at the foot of the mountain just now caused a huge landslide. You can see the rising smoke and dust from Heat Proxy. You're onto some. Seeing something like that would usually cause alarm. Even if Moors was sent to spy on us, it's still weird that he didn't even. Hey, Caesar, pipe down! Huh? Who's there? Moors, time to surrender. <laughs> Not gonna happen! My blood's boiling! Amazing! How do you do it? Lucy, I'm up! of Caledon talked a big game about having a showdown, but this is... Boss, you might have a soft spot for that Caesar, but it's their own fault for being so useless. <laughs> but dull can be a... At least we won't have to worry about Cinder Lake for a few years. What's with all these ether crystals coming out of nowhere? The ether aggregation catalyst can accelerate the crystallization of free-floating ether. This is tech developed by City Enterprises to increase ether production, and it works wonders in the unique environment of Lucius. Do you mean you? That's right, Pompey. I've replaced your spark stone. Cinder Lake will be completely extinguished. Oh, and one more thing, especially for those with a weak aptitude for ether, it will have serious consequences. <laughs> Lucius, how dare you? You won't get away with this! <sighs> how dare you give me another scar! You monster! Despite being so corrupted, you still have this much strength! To think I ever had such high hopes for you, I was blind! Do you understand the impact of colluding with the city's ether companies? What it'll do to this place? <laughs> Did you really think we all shared your old-fashioned ideals of freedom and morality, boss? The weak and the worthless have no place in this age. With the power of ether, I will establish a new order in this leaderless outer ring. A kingdom completely under my control! What is it? Boss, we found the Sons of Caledon. They're about to reach Cinder Lake. What? All those explosives didn't take them out? <sighs> we have to retreat for now. Seeing Cinder Lake snuffed out would have been a 90, but now it's down to a 60. Sorry, boss. Time to say goodbye. At least you'll be out of your misery. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just remembered. Weren't you disappointed you couldn't face the Sons of Caledon in a final showdown? Warning. 
A significant increase in ether concentration near... What? What's... There aren't any cameras near Cinder Lake, so we can't be sure. Damn. Does that mean we're... No matter what, Lucy. We have to get there at... Proxy? Where are our bikes? The Fisher took them to a place not too far away. Come with me. Surprise attack! Harry, yeah. how's the situation at Cinder Lake looking? Rising ether concentration levels detected. I have also detected that Cinder Lake's heat signature is shrinking. I knew it! Cinder Lake is in trouble. We're almost there! Our rides are up ahead! Now! Nice one! Target acquired! Want to leave the show, please? Good enough? Is that so?
That's cool. His attack mode has changed. Watch out, everyone. Out of our way, old man. If this keeps up. The enemy is exhausted. A little longer. Are you guys okay? Caesar, don't worry about us. Just think about winning. This is the only way for the Overlord to rest in peace. Understood. Leave it to me. We need to brave fear nothing. Can't end like that for Caesar, can it?
Where is it? Well, everything's packed. We're ready to head back home. Proxy! Good thing you haven't left. I almost missed seeing you off. Caesar, I told you. You shouldn't have rushed over here. With everything that's happened at the old oil field, you need to be there to keep things under wraps. I told you, I'm just the acting overlord. That day, even though Pompey threw in the spark stone that was replaced by Lucius, he was the first one to reach the finish line. Over... Caesar, speaking of Lucius... Nothing yet. We haven't found his man more. <laughs> that no good snake. We sent Bernice and Piper to cut him off, but he got away. Looking through the stuff he left behind, we found evidence that he was colluding with an Ether Corporation in the city, combined with Eos's recordings that day. The old proxy. I didn't get to thank you after leaving the Hollow. Couldn't have done it without you, Caesar. When Cinder Lake was about, all I could do was watch as you rode away. Hey, don't get emotional on me. I was saved by the fissure hidden under the... Isn't it crazy how that went down? A friend who's an expert on this said that due to the complex air currents around the fissure, ether particles are unable to stabilize due to the balance between the natural gas and the ether particles. Diving into the fiery sea, the hero returns valiantly. When the first overlord reached the lake... <laughs> Who'd have thought the legend of the first overlord was true? People back then didn't know about the fissure, and the first overlord probably forgot what happened to him. So that's where the divine intervention part of the legend... True, but isn't the existence of a fissure right in the middle of Cinder Lake already? Do you remember what happened after you fell... Parts of it, but <clears throat> it's hazy in the darkness. I thought I would lose consciousness pretty quickly, but I could feel... Then I saw a light in the darkness. Next thing... I can't. It was unbelievable. After you said, we meet again, the next thing out of your mouth was... She's always had her eye on taking over as the leader of the Sons of Caledon. And in that moment, I thought she'd be relieved. But that lunatic jumped up, shouted, I don't want your leftover! <laughs> <laughs> that was intense. Lighter and I were complete. <laughs> My face was even swollen the next day. Since you're heading back to the city, let me give you something as a memento. Oh, it's a... Yeah, <laughs> all of the Sons of Caledon chipped in. It's a shame I didn't have time to help with the weaving. Thanks. I'll... You're always welcome in the Outer Ring, Proxy. Cool.
Cook dick daddy. Oh shit, I just answered the same thing again. At least they let you see all the dialogue. see Caesar and the others in the rearview mirror anymore. Them Mr. Wise, leave looking around to me and keep your eyes on the road. But it was... It feels like Cinder Lake was just about to go out. What's wrong, Wise? Although we could only prove the fissure in Cinder Lake exists from its effects, apart from Caesar's bold gamble, but seeing Caesar fall, just like that top... Wise... Bell, you really have to admit we're family in moments like this. You must be thinking the same thing. This is the edge of the city. You... Second assistant, you have deviated from your course. Don't worry, Fairy. We're going the right way. The road we're taking... Here. Come on, Eos. Don't forget your scarf. Oh, no, no. It feels like we haven't been back in a long time, Belle. Fairy, do you know where this is? Search complete. This is the center of the chasm at the edge of New Eridu. The chasm, which preceded New Eridu, was the product of the large uncontrolled hollow disaster in Eridu, often called the Fall of the Old Capital. To deal with the out-of-control Hollow Zero during the fall of the old capital, Eridu's leaders at the time detonated the 14 Shuryu pillars from the power of the explosion sparked a strong geological chain reaction. That's right. There's nothing in the chasm that can be corrupted. So Hollow Zero... New Eridu could only be built without it. If you keep driving from here, you'll end up on the road to the northern side of Eridu, which is really... That belongs to the White Star Institute. Turning left before the statue takes you to the former main road number seven of the Minerva Quarter. On the left side of the road were all the old... And on the right side of the road were all the dessert shops and snack stores that Belle loved. I couldn't finish them? As soon as any snacks were... How could I forget? So, at the end of main road number seven... Our teacher is right there. She'll be at the entrance with Eos waiting for us. The Helios Academy. It's there now as well. Just across the chasm, deep inside... Teacher... We're back. It's been a lot. Master, second assistant, please allow me to express my condol should you wish. I can search for her name and accurately... Carol. Carol Arna. That name was not found in the database of victims from the fall of the old capital, resulted in the uncontrollable ho speculation. The name provided earlier was incorrect, or the matching information... No, it's no mistake. The person officially responsible for the fall of the old capital is Carol Arna. She was our teacher. She taught us. Raised us. Fairy, didn't you ask us why we wanted to investigate Hollow's here? We became proxies so we could collect enough observation data to one day head back to where Helios Academy once... We're confident that if there are clues anywhere... Belle and I are prepared to swear on our lives that our teacher isn't the one responsible. We have to uncover the truth about the fall of the old capital and clear our teacher. Warning, an unknown entity has been... Huh? Now? <laughs> You're the head of Section 6, Hoshimi. That's correct. And you're the leaders of the independent investigation team with the exceptional guide, Bangbo. I did not anticipate being bested by you. We're honored you remember us. But being best... I am training to be the first to reach the Chasm Memorial. I would like to... So you're here to pay your respects to the dis- Yes. My mother. My condolences. Thank you. But I don't intend to find peace. Hmm? 
Indeed. I shall not seek peace. Hmm. I'll catch them all. Hmm, at least we know we got more information now. Next level is 53. Oh, so there's another story part. <laughs> Oh, Bernice's agent story. I gotta finish her with the call. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna do that later. Alright, nice. But it looks like that is it for now, man. Uh, I already did her demo. Uh, I don't have enough. I wanna do at least one. How many more wishes do I get? Like another 10 star? Four? We can wish and see what we get. Single wish. So he inflicts days. Oh wow, he might be actually a useful bane boot. <laughs> Cry boot. That's funny. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, that is it for this video, man. Uh, had a blast. Had a blast playing it. Playing that story mode for that character. Oh uh, man. Oh, uh, or for that story arc for uh Caesar's group story arc. So, well, 
as for now, we're going to stop it there. I'm going to probably play Lucy's tomorrow. I don't know if I'll, I'll record it. I probably won't record that one. Depending on how it is. If it's dope, I may. But we'll see. All right, y'all. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.